G'day everyone, I'm Hamish. I'm here with my friend Andy. We're going to teach you all you need to know about Fair Share. That's right, Ham. Fair Share is a non-for-profit charity that rescues food that was going to be thrown out by supermarkets and food companies and gets volunteers like you guys to come in, cook it and turn it into meals, then distribute those meals to those in need. Now, the food that's rescued is not going to be thrown away because it's old or mouldy. That would be uh, not cool, but it's just... The package might be ripped or it's not the right shape or it hasn't been sold, things like that, but the food is terrific. Fair Share also received donated food from farmers, wholesalers and markets. Uh, for instance, meats, eggs, tin food, rice, pasta, fruit and veg. It's uh, it's all delicious stuff. Uh, Fair Share employ a small team of professional chefs that they then uh, volunteer and they cook the meals. Through the efforts of around 500 volunteers a week working for about three hours each, Fair Share makes, wait for it, about 20,000 meals a week, which adds up to over a million meals a year. More than Andy and I can eat, and that's why we enjoy their giving to the community. The meals are given out by charities to people who aren't fortunate enough to get three meals a day. Let's take a look at some of these people in need. Each year, two million Australians rely on food relief, and around half of them are kids. This means one in every ten Australians are victims of food insecurity. That's not food that's not secure in its packaging either. It's not loose food. No, no. Uh, like food biscuit, ins- like succotars that could fall out of a packet. No, no. Food insecurity is the inability to access nutritional food. Yep. Normally because they can't afford to buy it. And for those Australians, they find themselves not knowing where their next meal is coming from. So, of course, you're probably asking yourself, how can I help out? Well, Fair Share runs Schools in the Kitchen program that provides a unique opportunity for you and your classmates, if they're paying attention right now, Mm. and your school to learn about the reality of hunger in our community. You'll learn about food rescue and food waste. You'll help make a difference in the community. And, hey, you might even pick up some cooking skills. I did the course last week and I cooked a creme brulee. He didn't do the course and I've never seen him cook a creme brulee. And, And you won't now because you've angered me and I'll just eat the brulee myself. Anyway, you'll be briefed on occupational health and safety, especially about working in a commercial kitchen. But more importantly, you'll be volunteering in a safe environment that you'll find very rewarding. At Fair Share, you're going to spend about three hours in the kitchen doing things like chopping, dicing, making pastry meals and packing cooked meals. You'll help make a 1,000 meals and prepare another 2,000 for the next shift to come along and finish off. That's right. So they're actually going to make more than you and get a lot more of the credit, but you'll know you prepared those 2,000. I don't think it it works that way. Anyway, to conclude, Fair Share aims to provide 1 million meals a year for those in need, which is around 20,000 meals a week. You could be making pasta sauces with pasta, casseroles and curries with rice or couscous, as well as sausage rolls, vegetable rolls, quiches and egg and bacon pies. Egg and bacon pies. Ter- amazing. You go just for the pies. And remember, this food is going to be donated to over 300 charities around Victoria to help provide food relief in metropolitan and rural areas to those in need. Thanks for listening to Ham and I. We hope you have a great time at Fair Share. And if you're really good, I'll uh, come in and cook you that creme brulee I was talking about. It's not a promise. No, it's not, because I can't do it.